Kent Peter Money Talk here with another video. <laughs> I realized I wasn't even filming. So yeah, today is not Saturday, it's Sunday. But this is my channel. I can do videos anytime I feel like it. But seriously though, the topic is pretty much Walmart Sparks. So I don't know how many months expenses I pretty much tried to sign up for them. Or I technically did sign up with them. I know it's been at least April. At at least. Cause I remember getting my car. Cause I do like oil change like once every six months. So I was pretty much entire clutch trying to sign up for a Walmart Spark. So I've been on a waiting list. If you ever, if you pay attention to my videos. I always say that Walmart Sparks have me on waiting list. But for the first time, guess what happened yesterday? I was able to fill out the application. So it wasn't too bad. I mean, one thing I was frustrating with the Walmart, for well, there's more than one thing, but one, the first thing I was frustrating, I kept trying to sign, kept trying to set up so that I was in this. I was like an individual contractor. I was trying to set it up that way, but they wanted my, I think it was like an EIN number. I'm not quite sure what it was. They wanted some type of employee number. And the number I was giving them wasn't working. So I just ended up, I decided not to I decided to continue like the application without it being the independent contractor. So I guess I'll get a W2, W9, whatever it is. W2. So I'll see how that works. I mean, I did talk to the, no, I didn't really talk, but I sent them a message about that. Cause I pretty much want to get the rest of the application complete. So I did, they do, they do want like a driver license. I ain't, you don't, you don't have to pretty much show them a driver license, you just get like the driver license number. So Uber Eats, they wanted, they wanted my driver license. They wanted to see the actual driver license. Same thing with the uh, DoorDad. I think they did want it. If I'm not mistaken. They wanted the insurance. My, of course, my yeah, my car insurance. They didn't ask for the registration. Even though I was in my car, I took a picture of it in case they wanted it. They did not ask for it. So I'm just telling you this in case you ever saw the side for Walmart Spark. What else did they ask for? Is there anything else? I think that was pretty much it with the information. All they want your social security number. I mean, all employees want your social security number. Then it, it pretty much much got to get paid with this company. So in back of my mind, I, I already knew what bank I wanted to connect to the Walmart Spark cause with Uber Eats, I, I pretty much have, I'm pretty much using like my, like my account, my, my aspiration account and that account. I pretty much use for vacation pretty much. So that one's connected to Uber Eats, DoorDash. That one's connected to the, what was it? What is that Yada? Yeah. And that's my emergency fund account. So that one's connected to Yada. My main job, like my nine to five. Oh, she's not. I don't really work nine to five. It's more like seven to three. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I work seven to five. Sometimes I get off earlier. But with that job, my, which I call my main job, it's connected to my main saving account, which is five star. So I figure, you know what? For Walmart Sparks, I'm gonna connect. This to my main bacon account too, so I figured I'll connect it. Maybe that way, 
I don't have to take much, much money from my saving account anymore. Because <laughs> I'm trying to reduce taking money from my saving account. Which I've been trying to do for years. <laughs> so I was pretty good at it for a while. That's one thing you want to do. You, you want to try to take as little money from your saving account as you can. But there was a problem with the Walmart Smart. You can't reconnect really directly to your banking account. They give you like this other account. It's called Branch, I think it is. I don't have my computer on. I believe it's Branch. That's pretty much the, the banking account they will give you. You have to sign up through that. But within Branch, you can connect your main banking account to them, which is pretty much what I did. I was able to connect my five star account to them. So it's pretty much the same way with Aspiration Yada. My main banking account is connected to them. Well, of course, the downside whenever I get paid with Walmart Smarts, my money go into their the branch account. Then I have to transfer the branch account to the five star, which is my main account. So I'm not really too happy with that. If I really wanted to connect to like my main bank account, so whenever I get paid, the, the money is just there, right in the buy star account. But it didn't happen. Maybe I'll try with inbox. Not in, why well, I'm saying inbox dollar, instant card. Maybe I'll try to connect my main account to the instant card. <laughs> Hopefully I'm able to connect my main one with that one. So that was one disappointment with Walmart Smart. I could not connect to like my main account. I mean, but it's, but it's all good though. Cause I just, whenever I get paid, I just had to transfer it to the, from the branch account to the Boster account. And of course I'll take like maybe a day or two. So it's not, I mean, it's a little disappointing, but it's not that bad really. Cause I do the same thing with aspiration. I pretty much take like what twenty percent of my earnings out of whenever I get paid with Uber Eats. I take like twenty percent of my earnings and I put it into the my main banking account. Then I take like twenty five percent of my earnings and I put in the save. I put it in the saving account for aspiration. Then the rest I just leave into like the spend account. For the aspiration, so that's pretty much how I manage my money with aspiration. With Yada, I just let the money pile up because that's like the emergency fund. I'm trying to build that one up in case there's an emergency that I don't foresee coming. So, does that mean I can start working with Walmart Smart now? Well, not quite. They still have to review my application and all that. So I do have to wait a while. I think they said that I should expect to wait for at least seven days. But we will see. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video the first my first day at Walmart Sparks. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna do it. Because like I said, I when I whenever I do videos like that, I have to like have it edited. Had like professionally edited because I'll be doing like most new video clips pretty much. So there was one time I was doing most of video clips, I thought it was gonna be like easy to set up in the when I upload the YouTube video, but it wasn't. So that's why I usually use video editors whenever I do that. May I, may I learn to do it by myself at one point, but right now, I'm just going to do use editors. Some of those editors do cost a lot of money, like $100. Honestly, if I was going to spend $100 to do a video, I honestly want, like, I want to get something out of that video, like subscribers signed up, me getting, like, 2,000 views at least, if I was going to put that. If I was gonna put a hundred dollars into a video, cause I've done it before, I've done it at least once or twice. Put a hundred dollars to a video. 
I think I did it twice last year. The first, my first day with Uber Eats. And then the second time it was $100 Uber Eats challenge. And I got like 36 views. The video is good. I think the video is really good. I, I don't understand why I only have 36 views. <laughs> but who knows? I guess the YouTube algorithm don't reckon, don't put out her as much. But who knows? Maybe one day, maybe like two years from now, people start watching the video and start getting like a lot of views. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I get videos that are like, oh, recommend it to me. I don't know why, but it just happens sometimes. But even if I don't actually do like like a loan video with Walmart Sparks, I'll at least tell you how the day went with Walmart Sparks. Cause I like to, to be, I like to show the, the relisted amount with these apps. So I show how long it took me to make $100 back in November, it was pathetic. It took like close to 12 hours. Then um, last month, I did like a 12-hour Uber Eats challenge, and that took, I made like $135, I think it was. So that was better than, than the $100 challenge, which it was a little bit better. Of course, if I would have did that 12-hour challenge yesterday, I would have made more money. $935 because there was actually promotion going on. I did a challenge when there was like no promotion. <laughs> it's kind of weird because there's, there's like promotions every week and the one time I decided to do a the 12 hour challenge, there was no promotions going on. But it's all good. So I just want to tell you how I was doing with Walmart Spark how our process is going. Because obviously, it's been like over, was April a half year already? April, not quite a half year. Maybe I signed, I don't remember when I signed this act, but it's been at least April. So it's been several months since I've been trying to get into Walmart Smart. And with Uber Eats, I think I got into Uber Eats with like in the, it took me like a few days to get hired at Uber Eats. It took me with, it was like within one week at least. And I think I started like, I think I did start like the next week after I signed up. Might have been a week and a half. But that is it for this video. So. If you signed for Walmart Spark, let me know how long it took you to start working with Walmart Spark. Because I really want to know. May I do a video telling you how reliable Walmart Spark is when getting hired. But with that being said, have a good day. Bye for now.